This is a demonstration of the iGraphics BPMN diagram type available in all iGraphics modeling applications. So why use iGraphics for BPMN? iGraphics has been fine-tuning the art of process mapping for over a dozen years. Our experience has led to an incredibly fast and productive tool. By using correct by construction and rules checking technology, iGraphics BPMN diagrams are built compliant as you draw them. If necessary, convert your existing process maps to BPMN with a single command. Perform what-if analysis and simulation on iGraphics BPMN diagrams to gain the highest possible level of process performance. Communicate process knowledge by publishing to web, PDF, PowerPoint, and Word formats or store and share BPMN models in iGraphics repositories. Export BPMN diagrams to the business process execution language for process implementation by your IT organization. First, a quick summary of the BPMN notation. There are four basic elements, flow objects, connecting objects, swim lanes, and artifacts. The flow objects are divided into events, activities, and gateways. Events denote where something happens. Activities represent where work is performed or a subprocess link. Gateways manage the flow of a process. Events have two dimensions, a flow dimension and a type dimension. The flow dimension is defined by the context of the event within the diagram. It is either a start, intermediate, or end event. The type dimension defines what occurs at the event. For example, in an order process, perhaps a billing procedure is blocked until the order ships. A delay is another example of an event. Objects are connected by three styles of lines. Solid lines represent sequence flows, showing the order that activities are performed and the flow of tokens. Dash lines represent message flows between process participants, for example, between you and your customer, perhaps. Association lines connect artifacts, such as text annotations, to objects. Swim lanes represent participants with horizontal bands in separate pools. Only message flows are allowed between pools. Each pool contains one or more lanes representing functional roles, for example. Sequence flows are allowed across lane boundaries. Finally, artifacts help document and describe a process. I'm now showing a BPMN diagram describing the process used to create the BPMN specification. The process is from the perspective of the issues moderator. From this viewpoint, the voting members are considered external participants who communicate via messages, the dashed lines. The process starts every Friday, represented by a timer start event. The issues are gathered and reviewed at the next two activities. A decision is represented by an exclusive OR gateway. Exclusive OR means the flow takes one of two paths from the gateway, either stop or discuss the issues. Before showing more details of this diagram, I'll link the Discuss Cycle activity to a new Collapse subprocess describing this task in more detail. When I click OK, the proper link indicator will display at the bottom of the shape. I can drill down by right clicking and using the context menu. The new subprocess is initialized with a pool and start event. Now, iGraphics shows off its correct by construction features. Without these capabilities, to create a compliant BPMN diagram, you might need to refer to the 300 page specification before adding each object to the diagram. iGraphics offers a better way. Using the department manager, I rename the existing department and add a new one. The intelligent dialog lets me choose names already used in the main process of the document. The event, activity, 
and gateway shapes are available on the toolbox toolbar for diagramming. I choose the desired shape and drop it onto the diagram space. I click down on one shape and drag the cursor to insert a shape and its sequence flow connection line. While in the same editing mode, I add labels to the activity objects. A connection line drawn between an activity and pool is automatically drawn dashed. iGraphics knows that only message lines and not solid line sequence flows are allowed by BPMN in this context. iGraphics also knows the last event at the end of the flow must be an end event, which is indicated by a thick border. This is a compliant BPMN diagram. I can verify this at any time by using the rules checker on the diagram. I need to add another event representing a delay in the flow. iGraphics draws a double line border as required for an intermediate event. I choose the desired event type from a drop down list, specify a delay, and the timer symbol is inserted. Timers are always intermediate events and can't be at the beginning or end of the flow. See what happens if I remove the later steps? The timer shape is red flagged immediately. Placing my cursor over the shape tells me what is wrong. I can fix the diagram by clicking the undo button. In addition to my main flow, I have two more parallel flows representing the email and phone discussion activities of the discuss issue sub process. Notice that as I add activities to a lane, the lane grows automatically to make space for that activity. Before the final summarize activity, all three paths will merge together before proceeding on. But have I represented the merge correctly? I can check this behavior in the simulation trace view. I can see that each path is reaching the merge point and carrying on independently. This is not what I wanted. To define a merge, I need to change the BPMN type from activity to gateway. Specify the gateway type, in this case parallel because I have parallel flows, and then I'll verify it in the trace view. All three tokens from each parallel path should come together at the merge point as they are, then continue forward. It looks good. There's no need to use the trace tool for BPMN diagramming. I used it to explain a merge gateway. Trace and simulation are, however, valuable analysis and understanding tools available in iGraphics Process and Process for Six Sigma. I've drawn a gateway merge. Now I'll add a gateway decision to the diagram. The decision requires multiple sequence flows, so it's immediately flagged with a warning message. When I draw the second sequence flow, the error flag goes away. I label the shape, and by using right click on the sequence flow, I set the yes path correctly. I clarify my diagram further using an exclusive merge gateway, where a single token is accepted from multiple paths. The earlier exclusive decision gateway branched the token. Now the exclusive merge accepts the single token from the no or yes path back into the sequence flow. I've added shapes from the toolbox toolbar and modified their type. Alternatively, I can choose shapes from the BPMN palette in the gallery and use those in the diagram. Finally, I'll add a few more message lines to the diagram. And voila. Hey, that looks pretty good. I'll perform a final check of the BPMN compliance. It all looks good. And I'm ready to return back to the main process with the back button. There are a couple more interesting objects on the main process flow. At the collect votes step, there is an exception flow 
consisting of a timer. The timer will wait one week before taking the timer route. This is necessary at this step because a subprocess contains an infinite loop, something allowed per the BPMN spec. Also on the main process is an embedded subprocess where the subprocess is shown on the same diagram as the main process. If shapes are moved within the subprocess, the subprocess grows automatically. An option to export the diagram in Bepl format is available and sold separately. If you have existing diagrams like this one that are not drawn to the BPMN specification, that's no problem. With iGraphics, simply change the diagram type to a BPMN diagram. All the correct events, activities, and gateways have been added to the diagram to make it compliant. Communicate process knowledge throughout the enterprise with web, office, and PDF output. Share and reuse process knowledge by storing your diagrams in a Process Central repository. View the Process Mapping and Process Central demonstrations for more information on these capabilities. Thank you for watching this presentation.